Now for this particular PC, because it's not starting up, I want to get to this guy here. The PSU processing, there's the cable coming in. All right, so let's go ahead and see how we gradually open this up, guys. All right, because I don't want to damage the screen or anything. So I've got it on a tea towel here, and that's the back of the PC. Now, to open it, I remember the first time I had to, when I was working on this, I was looking everywhere to open it, and I couldn't find it. Now, at the bottom underneath, if you look, there's one screw here, and one screw there. And if you guys have seen my other all-in-one Lenovo opening, it's very similar. So I'm gonna go and undo those two screws, and this glass base is perfectly lined so you can absolutely reach it like that all right and it doesn't get in the way and just unscrew and it's similar type to normal standard laptop screws so put that to one side and open up with this one here and then push down and pull away there we are, nice and easy, and it comes off. There you go. So first of all, I wanna get rid of this part here. You, there's no set rule, guys. You know, you slowly have to work your way through. So I'm gonna get rid of this chassis-like holding support part here. So there's a screw here. See, that come off. Now, we can already see this part here. There's the cable connecting here. There's a connector here. So you, do, 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 what do you do? You, you press down here and you pull away. There it is, it's disconnected. Now, to open this part, it's a little bit annoying. This cover for the hard drive is actually in the way and there's a lip under there. Okay, so, and this is holding as well and there's no way to open this without that. There's a cable management here, get rid of that. Undo your hard drive cables. Now we've got to take this cover off. So here we go. And it's just trial, and there we go, you see? And then you just wiggle it out, and there's your hard drive, guys. Now this PSU is quite a few screws. There's one screw down there, another one here, and I believe there might be some more under this guy as well. All right, so we're gonna do it. We've also got to take this PSU fan away as well. And for this one, you don't even need to unplug it. I'll give it a blow and a thing clean up quickly. So there and there. So I'll put that to one side here. Main thing is this guy I'm gonna have a go at. Yep, there was a screw here. So there's one. I had a look, first time I worked on this, I had a look on eBay to see how many there was, and there was about 20 to 30 being sold. Now, if you have a look on eBay, they're so, so rare. Actually, this might not come up, I just realized. There's another bottom plate here for the um, hard drive part to sit. So I might have to lift this guy up as well with four screws held here. That's moving. I'm just gonna tilt it here and there it comes away. Now, this part is easy to remember. That guy must go there. And I'll just leave these screws on there like that to put it away to one side. Okay, now easy, straight out. Oh. There's all your cables running, cable management. So lift that part up, coming here, move that to one side, and you've got your cable management there. You have to pinch this side here, and then you have to wiggle it out. So just there. There we go. All right, so that one's connected. You press it here, and then you pull it out. So that's the PSUs. Have a smell. Yeah, it smells a bit burnt. 
and let's try the new one guys this is the replacement so to connect the PSU back in put your cable management in there flatten it push that down push it all the way in there and push that down done make sure it fits in there because or else the cover is not going to go on and then put your fan actually we're going to put later on you need to, to, oh, to remember that i put that screw there so you're going to angle it under and then gently that's it make sure you don't catch any other components push it back in line it up with the screw and the screws on the motherboard now don't i'm, I'm not going to go into fully tighten all of these because i might need to open it again if it doesn't work I've got this component and I've also got the component here. One of those has failed for sure. Don't forget to connect this cable. And there's a lip on that side, so the clip goes onto the lip. And don't put it in the wrong way. There we are. That tucks in nicely in there and goes into this cable management. All right, done, done, done. I see. I was resting or something. All right, you connect the hard drive up because or else nothing's going to kick in, and it's fairly straightforward. A little bit under this cable, info, and actually, it might be the other around power. One is power, one is info. Okay, done, done, done. We don't need to really put the chassis on, that's just for strength and rigidity, but we do need to put this fan on. Ah, silly me. There we are. He actually fits around that bus. Now, moment of truth, guys. Does it switch on? Let's see. Because it was not switching on at all before. Plug that in. Power here. What have we got? Just give it once check, that's connected, that's connected, they're connected, that's connected. Let's see. Yes! Look at that, lights. Awesome! Brilliant! <laughs> there you go, it started. So the person who had it, they said it just, just wouldn't turn on anymore. So I'll just show you. There's the old one. And this one's dying and it's absolutely fine and okay working. Brilliant. All right, guys. So now I'm going to put everything together back again. So we've got the chassis left to put on here. Three screws. We've connected the hard drive. Given the once over, everything's connected nice and tight. Always check, double check, guys. You can never check enough. Done, nothing loose, that's in, that's all good. Now this chap, he is very straightforward, I believe. So he says there, there, so one, two, three. Three black ones. So I find most of these are blacks are on the metal and the silver ones are on anything that's plastic. Oh, not four. There's another one here. Don't forget. <laughs> Ooh, it's like I've got four screws and I've just said three. Where's the other one come from? Panic station. So this one has lip here and lips inside to make sure it falls into place. Cool. And finally, 
you, my friend. Push you down a couple of mils away. There, click. There, click. Make sure all around the lip is located on and nothing is sticking out. This one's always had a problem with this drive here. All right, so pull it up. And we've got our last two long screws to put on. One here and one there. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, share, and go ahead. And you know, it's getting 10 years old. There's lots you can do with this PC, guys.